Well, the 10 minutes were over, so you're yeah, welcome to part 2. Um, I was like talking about, yeah, that I just selected the animation here, but you can also um, do multiple animations in the in the script itself. Um, yeah, then um, what else is pretty awesome, pretty, pretty awesome, I'm gonna show you this. Um, Eh, okay. Oh well, actually yes. Um, you can, uh, you can, uh, for example, if you're like, oh my god, it's just like um, 14 row, 13 rows of 14. In this case, these are 14, and this is the 14th um, rows, and it's not enough for you. Yeah, you can just um, expand it, expand it here, make like 80 rows or 30 rows for. I don't know, like how many rows you need for a character, yeah? I mean, like, this is pretty basic, yeah? Attacking, uh, hurt, blah, 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 moving there, moving back. Um, but you can also, like, um, I don't know, add a, a trance, or like in Final Fantasy IX or something, or maybe some animation for, I don't know, stabbing, or I don't know everything yeah um just expand it below and make like 14 row uh, 15 rows 16 rows or more and then um you have to go there to holder change the rows to whatever you have okay and here you can add like another command for example um Let's call it hold the logo. Oh, wait. just hold. It. Let's call it just hold. It. Um, row four, fourteen. Um, yeah, that's for fun. <laughs> well, um, we don't have to change it here because it's already fourteen rows selected. And then let's see what I wanted to show you is um, so. In my skill here, I'm just gonna add, like, here. I just copy this, and instead of row attack, I choose row holder. That's the 14th row holder. I mean, if you look at this, it's this thing here. Wait, it's this thing, like the logo of holder. So it will just uh, pop from this to this, and then it will be two empty frames. Okay, I mean that's not not that awesome, but um, let's choose like 16 frames, so we actually have time to see it, and then we want to wait for that pause. Yeah? So we insert it here. Oh, what the fuck? That looks ugly. Um, so okay, and if I do this now. So, um, if I do the skill now, oh well, it's still the other sprite. Yeah, that's that's something we need to talk about later on. Oh god, that, that really sucks. Uh, never mind. Um, so if I do this now. It will do the normal animation and then it will just skip to the 14th row, yeah? So you can expand it to infinity and do whatever you want with this fucking script and it's so awesome, yeah? Well, um, yeah, that's that's it. Um, and I have to pause here because, yeah, I'm gonna tell you later. So, I'm back. Um, yeah. So, this I sh last showed you, I guess, um, like, using... Uh, infinite rows for your animations. I mean, if you have time to create that um, pixel art, like these these um, battle sprites, um, you can do so much stuff there. And if you read uh, carefully through the user manual of Victor, you are basically free to do everything in that um, in that battle system. Yeah, and you can also add videos. Like Victor has um, 
with these scripts we already have we can add videos so for example you just do like um, the guy is standing there with this caster position you know like this one here yeah and and then you just play a video for a skill that's pretty awesome I mean you know this for Final Fantasy if you summon like a uh, bestia or, or in Golden Sun if you summon um, your chins um, it's it's pretty pretty cool and you can add movies there I mean the only problem is you just have to convert them to OGV which is basically pretty hard because I've till now I didn't find a, a decent converter for this but uh, we will see if I find one anyways um, the next thing I showed you was um, changing uh, was changing the, the battle sprite um, which can be useful for example if you change the weapon I mean if you don't have a big sword like the black one all the time or you have a spear um, and you do different splash arts, uh, different <laughs> sprite arts for this um, it's basically the, the easiest thing to just change the file names yeah? for example in my case um, I have the Eric thingy that's the one we saw before um, the one we are using on default and then have Eric lands here yeah? um, I didn't figure out how, if it's possible to change the notice tag here in game with a script call or something I mean that would be totally awesome because it would save so much time like if you equip this weapon change the, the battle name to this yeah? but I didn't figure out how to do this so I did it in a different way um, I just renamed the files um, Ruby, I mean the, the language which we are programming in basically, um, allows you to rename files. So what I did here is I did a script call, like, uh, here, oh, what, what, blah, 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 go here on the third page on script, and then you can just write it down. Um, it's I, I just defined two local variables, um, like A is graphics battlers Eric and M um, dot .png, that's the name of the file, I mean, what the fuck, yeah, the file, you saw it already, um, and then change it to Eric Big Sword, uh, uh, and then the variable 2 is graphics battles Eric Big Sword, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you do file dot rename, and then the two variables, so it changes Eric to Eric Big Sword, yeah, and then, I just, wait, I don't know why I did this, maybe because more awesome or it didn't work I have no idea I haven't tried to fail um, and then I um, defined two more variables like a is graphic Eric lens yeah, to the other thing you saw um, and B is graphics uh, Eric so you change the original one to some other thing like big sword and then you change the other one like la the lens one to the original one like Eric yeah so you just rename the one file to something different and then the other file to the one before now yeah, you see what I did there um, the thing is it actually renames your files so you have to um, change it back if you want to restart the game because otherwise we will just start with the other splash shot and that will do total confusion so you just do the, the it the other way around like change Eric back to Eric Lens and change Eric Big Sword back to Eric that's it actually yeah um, and I mean that's just a, a quick solution for this I mean I only have 15 seconds left you can do this with variables um, like define uh, if you equip something define this variable etc you can do this on your own I guess so I hope you had fun and I hope you enjoy doing your own custom skills and stuff so yeah see ya